Let's talk about big words. No, no, no. Not big as in size, big as in important. Something like parliamentary sovereignty. Let's break it down. Just to recap, a parliament is a representative body where decisions for a region are made. In this video, the parliament in question today is the one in Westminster. Pew! So, that's parliament sorted, but what the heck is sovereignty? Well, the dictionary says supreme power or authority. Oh, like the Lion King? Yes, the same way that the Lion King has sovereignty over the jungle, meaning whatever decisions Mufasa makes has supreme authority over the jungle's actions, Parliament has sovereignty over the United Kingdom, meaning whatever decisions Parliament makes has supreme authority over the United Kingdom's actions. That's why those decisions are called law. So that's why we call it parliamentary sovereignty. But what does parliamentary sovereignty mean in practice? A clever man called Dicey summed it up pretty nicely. Parliament can make and unmake any law. Nobody else gets to make laws. And nobody can declare laws by Parliament invalid. Not the media, not the courts, not the Queen, and especially not the government. Okay, I know what parliamentary sovereignty is. But why should I care? I can answer in one word, democracy. Parliament has such power because you choose its members through election. When you vote, you choose someone who will represent you and what you want in Parliament. Because Parliament represents you and acts on your behalf, it has to be sovereign and more powerful than the courts, the queen, and especially the government. 